Because when God wants to do something, he raises up somebody and gives them a message. I'm not the only one who can carry this message, but I dare to believe God's word in spite of the, the normal that this church is feeling today. People of God, I'm tired of a cute and sexy church. I'm tired of a church whereby people just come and have fun and go away. No, 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 no. That will not do it. There are a lot of people who are bound and broken today. They need to experience the power of God to set them free, to heal them. I choose to put myself on the line and be a channel through which God is going to bring healing and deliverance to this generation. You all know it. There are a lot of sick people sicknesses or conditions today doctor will say to you sorry we can help the situation becomes hopeless but if i can believe god to receive the unction to bring you what is needed to deliver you and produce the healing i am doing it and i want you to dare to believe god the expert don't have the last say your medical expert, your legal expert, your financial expert don't have the last In our own Bible days, God is doing greater things. God is doing better things. And I'm chatting you today by the authority of the word that you will rise up and dare to believe. And when you believe, I'm saying to you today, like God's word said to Moses, speak to the rock. Speak to the rock. It says in Isaiah 55, verse number 11, it is my word that has gone forth out of my mouth that not return to me forward until it accomplished the purpose for which I sent it. The word of God in my mouth, spoken with faith, is not different from God speaking that same word himself. That is the way God produces miracles, that's the way God walks. I've chosen to set myself apart and in agreement with the word of God, and it is going to happen. You are going to be seeing manifestations, miracles, people who have been depressed and bound for years, people who have been suffering mental problems and oppression for years, they are going to come into this congregation and get healed. People who thought that they have be written off, they are going to come under this authority and get delivered. Why? Because Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, and we are in our own Bible days. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm telling you because God cares about people. Amen. God cares about people. I, I'm tell, I, I, I really mean that. God has sent us for to be a light for this generation. God raised me for a purpose. God assigned me to this generation to be a light for this generation. We have begun on the on the direction that will shift the focus of the church. I mean the body of Christ. You will say, Pastor James, who do you think you are? Wait, if you have some time, and I pray you live long, you will see what I'm talking about.